Hey guys, it's Mary. So I received the next to the last auto ship of the um, small decoupage flower set. Uh, and this one is the sunflower. I think there's one left and it's the um, uh, anemones. So if you're not familiar and haven't seen any of the other videos I've done, um, each one of these, this out of the way, each one of these comes with the pad and the dies and the stamp. I have the whole first set of the decoupage and then now have the second, the mini set and I have yet to use any of the stamps. So my bad. Um, that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for the dies and the paper. So let me open this. So each of these, let me see how many this one has. This one has six. So each of the different sets either have somewhere between five, five and six um, flower pieces and dies to cut them. So um, in the original one, there was a sunflower, though totally different than this sunflower. But the rest of these in this auto ship are um, not repeats of the same type of flower. So, um, and these pads come with 48 uh, sheets, so you can make 48 flowers. I've made quite a few, and believe me, um, I haven't made 48 of anything. Um, and I know that some of them, and I don't know if they've done all of them, or will be doing all of them, but some of them they have put the digital download on uh, Crafters Companions website so that when you do run out of these, you'll be able to print your own. Unless, of course, you want to go for the stamp. But the stamp is just this part, so. I, I love these because I make them up in advance. So I have them, so if I need to make a quick card, they're right there. And each of these is numbered from the largest to the smallest. And each of these used to be numbered, but I think they finally realized that the pieces are different enough that we can certainly figure it out. Yeah, see, they're not numbered anymore. But the good thing is they used to be on the plastic sheet and you had to figure out where you got them from. Now they have the outline so you know exactly where it's supposed to go. So you just flip it over and then look for your little tab. And as long as the tab is covered and you see no white around, then you're good to go. So let me get some washi tape. See if this one is good. Yep, still good. All right. All right. So that's number one. These are not easy to get off. And this would be number two. See how it's covered? No white is showing. It might be slightly off somewhere, but there's there's no way of knowing. This one's cute. It comes with a little bow. None of them have bows, but this is supposed to be a bouquet. Um, let me put that down a little bit more. It's supposed to be a bouquet, so that is cute that they thought of that. All right, number three. Let 
Now, today I'm going to be using a different machine than I've ever used on any of the other ones. And um, we'll see. Uh, because each of these dies also has the embossing lines. If you can see, see all the etchings. And if you get a nice press when it cuts, um, in, with just one pass, you can get all these lines etched. So, but I moved my uh, Gemini machine over to um, bring my uh, old Big Shot electric platform in. Um, because I was, um, I attended a virtual uh, class, three day classroom, and there was so much cutting. The platform just made it so much easier just to have it next to me, put it down on the platform, and go. So I've never cut these with them, so we'll see if we get some sort of um, etching. All right, one more to go. And that's the little bow. And even with the bow, you wanna make sure that that number, no, you can't see the orange on that number, so. All right. So this should just fit on this, and it does. All right, we'll give it a go. see yeah it doesn't look like it gave much of the uh, detail so and now it's falling apart all right I don't I'm afraid if I run it through I've done that before now that it's falling apart that it's going to um, uh, misalign and then cut them weird so we're just going to leave it as is for this one and then next time I'll put a shim in now that I know all right so they just pop out easily This is a really, really pretty um, bouquet. I think I like this uh, sunflower set better than the original one. So, all right, let me get the plates out of the way. All right, so what I like to do is use the flower forming um, just to give it, this is the biggest one I have on hand, my um, 
Crafters Companion makes a really nice set, and they're uh, really, really huge, but they are in a, a container with all my flower forming stuff. So we'll just, we're gonna use this. And it's just to break it down a little bit, give it a little bit of curve. There's another one. There's the two attached. I just noticed these cut really, really nice. Um, even the little, little leaf there is, is there. Uh, but I did notice that the big piece um, has a big border. And it's not that I didn't get it straight. I got it perfectly straight. Um, but it's that's the way it's meant to be with this see the packaging with this huge white border that goes around it and i don't recall and i'm pretty sure that none of the other ones have this border and i'm not sure whether i like it or not i'll have to contemplate it so i'm just going to do this one lightly i don't want it to bend too much because we're going to glue the pieces together. All right, so I've got them actually in order of how they go on. Because remember, it's the largest one and then you build to the smallest. So I like to use um, three-dimensional foam tape. You can uh, use the uh, Kalau gel. And I have tried that before, and um, it's good. I like it for the little smaller flowers, but this one, the layers are pretty big, so I don't think that's going to be, there's going to be a problem with them. Um, but that's, you know, it's personal preference, what you like. As long, I figure as long as the, it's not showing, then I'm good. The, uh, I think last month was the orchid, and that was very tiny, so that um, looked better with uh, the cloud. All right, so you want to line up the pieces, and then lay it down. Now the thing you have to remember is that if you're gonna send it, you don't want too much bulk because it's gonna cost you extra postage. Um, so in that case, if you, know, if you don't have thin pads, then I would suggest uh, using just a little drop of the Kalau. All right. So this was, I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I think I did. It was an auto ship. Um, and I'm, so I'm not sure if, um, Crafters Companion ever, um, uh, have, you know, if they've brought it to the, their website, or if they have to wait until the auto ship is filled and then they can. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me get some scissors because I think this one's gonna be too long.
This one's going to go right there. And then I'm going to cut this leftover even smaller. See if I can put it on the back of that bow. All right. Whoops, they're very sticky. All right, let's see if we can pop this up. Oop. Let me get tweezers because my fat little fingers are not going to let me get in there. All right. All right, so there it is. And so you've got the dimensions. You can't can't see the foam tape yet it gives a nice nice dimension still not sure whether I like that big white background it's kind of strange but I, I guess it does make it look bigger with it I don't know. Anyway, you let me know. Do you think they should have cut it closer like they have in the past? Or do you think it looks good with the big white background? I'm on the fence. I don't know. I don't know. But I do like the sunflower. And like I said, I think I like it better than the last um, version of it. The first version of it. So... All right, so that's it. Sunflower bouquet, decoupage topper by Crafter's Companion. I will be sad again when the last one comes in a couple of months. So, all right, so that's it. Um, thank you for spending time watching. Um, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you I think about subscribing um it would be awesome if you did and then you could hit that little bell and get notifications every time there's a new video um let me know in comments um what which way you like this um also let me know if you picked up the auto ship uh the original with the auto ships um and if you bought the original set so Anyway, put it all in comments. Um, okay, so that's it for today. Stay safe, stay well, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.